But I will tell you all this, if I lived in Pennsylvania, I would have already cast my vote for John Fetterman for many reasons. What? Now, if you're saying, well, what, 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 why are you surprised? You know, don't fake the funk. Oprah's a Democrat, right? Oprah catapulted Dr. Oz to TV fame. He was one of her talk show prodigies, remember? I mean, they were thick as thieves. So that's interesting. Let's bring back Stephanie and the governor and talk about what this means. Uh, Howard, how big a deal is this for John Fetterman? It helps. Um, I think most endorsements don't mean much. Hers does. Uh, and uh, I think there are people who may be thinking about going over to the other side that are going to now think twice. I, the thing I does, think does more is gets people out to vote. When Oprah says essentially what she said, the hidden message was you got to vote. That's going to make a difference, I think, and it'll help Fetterman. Um, which voters matter most, Howard, um, in that race and for Democrats? Is it going to be black women again who are 35 to 55? Black women always matter. That are probably our most important and reliable constituency group. Um, Which but, makes it surprising uh, that you guys don't do more for them when you're in power. Well, uh, Biden has actually put more black and uh, uh, people of color and women in positions of power than Obama did. No, so I'm talking I, about I, I, in their own families and what kinds no, of opportunities I, I are done. I'm talking about how their rights are judges. secure. I'm talking about cabinet officials. I'm talking, talking about senior people in the cabinet. First black secretary of, I mean, that, that, is, a, that is a nonsensical statement. You've got to look at the numbers before you say something well, no, no, like no, no, that. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You are valuing cabinet positions. I'm talking about real people and their lives and the issues that matter to them. You know, the reason you're going to get beat over the head with crime, that's not fair. It's not a national government issue. But in these communities, they've been suffering. And it's not just that black people only live in bad areas, but those areas have wanted more help. And local leadership is often Democrat. I think it's something you guys hang around your neck, no? I think it's something that Republicans have good, done a good job hanging around our neck. The fact is there is no crime epidemic and the biggest crime, the biggest statistics for rising in crime are in, in states governed by uh, Republicans. That's the fact. They do have they do have crime issues. Look, there. Crime no comes up every year, um, Chris, because it's a racist trope and they could do stuff like putting ads about Mandela Barnes and darkening his skin and stuff like that. That's right out of the Republican play playbook. Racism is a big factor in Republican campaigns, and it always has been. Well, but race is big everywhere all the time. It's just about how it's used and whether it's about a point of progress. And crime is up, Howard. It's up, okay? I'm not saying it's an epidemic. I don't know what the word means right. in this context, but it's up. Stephanie, let me bring you in. Um, the power of Oz... Uh, and what this means for him having Oprah versus versus the negative energy generated by what I'm about to play for you from The View. I read a, a poll just yesterday that white Republican suburban women are now going to vote Republican. Why? It's almost like roaches voting for raid, right? It's you know, Sonny. You sat uh, at the table many times on The View. Impact of that statement? I think it was just offensive. You know, she, she, uh, she often talks about race on the show. And while I know she was quoting a poll saying white suburban women, I just, I found it ironic that she kind of went after white suburban women. And, you know, you hear the, you hear people talk about the elitist Democrats and their talking points. I think this was exactly it. I am a woman living in the Midwest, a Republican woman in the uh, Midwest who doesn't want many Republicans to win. And I was offended by what Sonny said. You can't talk down to people like that. You can't act as if people aren't smart enough to, to think about things themselves. So also, Whoopi Goldberg is always saying how polls don't matter, polls don't matter. I don't know if she weighed in on that, but um, I'm surprised that ABC hasn't actually had Sonny um, apologize for that. It was, it was wildly offensive. Anything to say on that, Howard, or should I move on? I don't, A, I don't know who she is, and B, I agree with ridiculous, a ridiculous thing to say, and it was offensive. I mean, you can't compare anybody to a roach, no matter what their color there is. I thought it was ridiculous. But I don't watch the show, and I have no idea how many people do. You're not even on Twitter. Stephanie. Uh, I got off Twitter because of our friend Elon. I know. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And... Don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. 
Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.